homemade ribbon lace. Oh, don't do that. My name is Desiree, but everyone calls me Mama Des. I take care of everybody. <laughs> Shout out to Daily City, formerly 415, now 659. <laughs> so the first thing I do is I ask what colors the person wants. You can choose two colors or four colors. Um, yeah, that's the ones I know to make. <laughs> Once I get it, I just open them up and I measure out 18 feet for each color. And these are the colors of the Filipino flag. And then um, I tie a knot at the end. I'm Bay Area born and raised. So not only Bay Area born and raised, but Daily City. A little Manila, Daily City, California, yay. <laughs> And I lay it in a certain pattern so I know which two are, what colors are gonna be on the inside and which colors are gonna be on the outside. I just braid it from there. I, it's just, keep going. It's like, kind of like tying your shoe over and over and over and over again. Put on a good song that you like. Put on your favorite TV show. See, it's like meditation. Drip check. I make ribbon lace normally for graduations and celebrations. I like to make, I, I like to make any kind of lace, like flower lace. I also make candy lace, but people have evolved that into like McDonald's cheeseburger lace and like Spam Musubi lace and like Top Ramen lace. I've made it all. I used to do this full time. It's too much work. You know that you, are doing it right if you see a square here and a square here. If you're making it for graduation for a loved one, then you can say you made it like yourself, like from with your own hands and it's more sentimental. This is the easiest. <laughs> My mom's like, I raised you here like for not the accent and you heck I have an accent. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> if you pull it too tight, it's not gonna be even. See where the last loop happened? I'll pull that through, pull that out. Boom. And then I'm gonna tie this like you're gonna tie your shoe. Three times a charm. Also growing up in the Bay Area, I was open like to so many cultures. It's just so close knit and so the population is so high that like you can get a range of all kinds of experiences and different people, different cultures. It's very um, inclusive. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. <laughs>